Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This is our wet little Popeye because it's raining outside. He just got in from a nice little run in the rain and we are the RC Sailors. Today we are bringing to you our full review of my Flyzone Extra 300 SX. Now this guy has been in the air more than it's been on camera and it's already looking like I've had it for probably months because I can uh, take this in the trunk of my car and fly it after work pretty much every day. Any opportunity that I get to fly this, I'm flying it because it's so easy to just put in the trunk in one piece, pull it out with a charged battery and just fly. And that is a huge, huge bonus reason as to why you might want to get this. Now, I, take, I took the, uh, <clears throat> the wheel pants or skirts, whatever you'd like to call them, off because I wanted to show you how easy they are to put on. It's in two pieces. Oh no, your it's, sticker just fell It's off. okay, I know. Uh, okay, so it's magnetic, just like most of the parts are on this plane. <clears throat> Try to angle it so you guys can see this. And they just snap right on. And it looks great when those guys are on there. They look really good. But I would actually recommend that when you're flying, and this is just through experience, that you kind of take them off, which is no problem because they're magnetic. Now, when I first got this in the air, I flew with them on. And I think in most of the footage that I've got, those little pants and wheel uh, skirts or whatever you want to call them are on the plane but then the grass grew and i realized that there's not a ton of clearance on this guy for the landing gear so some of the tall crabgrass grabbed a hold of it and it kind of popped off and threw it up in the propeller and chopped it up a little bit and i've got one here that just took a little bit of a beating nope. <clears throat> the foam i I've, i think i'm going to glue that extra piece of foam but uh <clears throat> that's my fault because i took off in tall crabgrass uh but Having said that, this plane will take off and land in grass. You don't have to do it on asphalt. There's enough clearance here to take off and land on grass. Moving on from that landing gear stuff, just take a look at this plane, but how beautiful it is and how That's my sporty. favorite thing about it, especially the bottom. It just looks so pretty in the air with the checkered bottom and you can see it really easily and That's it's, right. it's just nice. She's exactly right. You can see this super easily. This checkered bottom, look how different this looks mm -hmm. compared to the top of the plane. So when he's doing barrel rolls, he can tell what's up and what's down. Whereas right. some planes, it's hard to tell. This one, no problem at all. That is really hard to say when you're in the air if that's not the bottom of the plane. And it's very easy to distinguish the top and the bottom. So that's an uh, extremely awesome perk. Not only does it look amazing, but the orientation of this plane is just like a no-brainer. You always know what part of the plane you're looking at, even when it's really far away in the sky. Popeye's eating <clears throat> again. <laughs> if you hear it munches. A little crunching. So this plane, we got ours bind and fly because I like to fly on my Tactic Universal Transmitter. Basically any opportunity I get to fly on this, I'm flying on this. And I recently upgraded to an eight channel. You don't need eight channels to fly this. It's actually just a four channel plane. But uh, that gives you full elevator, rudder, and aileron control as well as throttle. Your throttle is controlled by a 1000 kV brushless motor and you're flying on traditionally a good power pack for this size and style plane is going to be a three cell 11.1 .1 volt uh, lipo battery and I'm flying on 22 to 2300 milliamps of power and I don't like to push my batteries too far so I have a five minute flight timer set on this and I've got about six or seven batteries that I fly on so I can fly for quite a while if I want to and I just charge them up when I get home and then the next day I go out to fly I fly for about five minutes at a time keeping my batteries very healthy on that flight time Although I'm sure you could push really close to about 10 minutes if you really wanted to. I can get a complete vertical climb on this guy. In the wind. It, in the wind. It's just a powerhouse for its size. That brushless motor really does a lot for this plane. I can take off completely vertically and I can fly and do barrel rolls as I'm climbing vertically. I can do fairly good stall, like, uh, you know, just kind of hovering there in the wind. Although it's not, <clears throat> uh, well I should say I'm not amazing at it, uh, but it does do a pretty good job at that. Um, so it, it just flies really, really well. The first few flights that I had it in the air, I had my elevator 
I, I needed to adjust the push rod on the servo and I had it pointing down too much. So a lot of my flight is kind of like Well, rocky. and it was super windy, probably like Crazy 15 windy. plus mile per hour winds. Both flights we filmed for you guys. And yeah. um, I mean, as Nathan said, you could see it kicking, you could That's see right. it bouncing. It was, it was a little rough flight. <laughs> but it did okay. Now I had one opportunity I'm not sure which flight it was, but I know I have some footage of it. There was a very calm day, or at least a calm part of the day, and when it was like that, this thing was flying like a dream. And any other time that I've flown off camera, it flies like a dream, especially That's in That's probably some of wind. the B-roll that I captured that I'll show them right now. <laughs> sure. <clears throat> um, a little out of order here, when I put this guy together, it only took me about 20 minutes, I, I think, roughly, really, really quick build. It was build less than an hour. Because everything on the plane has these really strong earth magnets. The canopy, like a lot of planes nowadays, are held on with earth magnets. But even, and I don't think I can get this off because of the nose cone on here, but even the cowl, yeah, it's stuck, it's stuck with the propeller. But even the cowl is held on with something like eight earth magnets. So you can pop that off with your prop and nose cone off and easily access your motor and your motor mount, your firewall and uh, your ESC if you need to. They have everything wired up really nicely inside this plane. Um, <clears throat> it's very simple. It's got the servo wire leads. The servos are mounted right here behind the wing and uh, the, uh, those are for your um, elevator and your rudder. Your aileron servos are in the wing actually and the wire is run up through the bottom portion of <coughs> the uh, body of the plane, the fuselage here. I've got my receiver mounted right here, pretty much in the center of gra like the, the center of the balance of the plane, almost at the center. When you've got a battery in there, it really is kind of right in the middle of the plane. Did you have to buy your own receiver for this too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is was my model is a receiver ready. I believe they have a ready to fly, and um, there might be one other version like ARF receiver ready and ready to fly I think I'll have it linked for you in the description box um, <clears throat> so check it out at the end of this video but I've, I'm flying uh, I've got a six channel uh, receiver in here but <clears throat> you only need four channels to fly on I've got the uh, star plug which is very similar to Dean's but the uh, instead of using heat shrink you've got that little plastic cover and it comes with the star plug, fortunately. I'm very happy about that. Um, everything being held in here just was, it's just set up, it's just a beautiful little build. It's set up that- Usually when Nathan <clears throat> builds planes, or really I, builds anything, <coughs> it's pretty rough. I get we'll just leave it at that. This it's was pretty rough. Quickest, easiest thing I've ever put together. <laughs> and uh, by the way, the battery mounts up here, kind of right in the cowl, right in the fuselage. I've got Velcro to hold everything down, and um, I, I encourage you to do the same thing. You may be able to see this on the camera. I've got a little strip of Velcro held on here because we did a really cool thing for the first time ever. I don't know why it took us this long to finally get around to doing well, this. I didn't like <coughs> the way the footage looked. The footage isn't great because I don't got, like the prop lines that it leaves. <laughs> it was not great. I maybe should have mounted it below the plane and well, got like a shot of the tail or something. Yeah. But <coughs> really neat little thing here. We recently got our hands on a tactic drone view little camera and some of the footage that you've seen in other videos and in this video has some FPV shots on this plane and it's just held on with some Velcro strips that I put on it and we put it right here on the nose of the plane. And she's right though, the footage is not great because of the props but it's still kind of fun. I didn't like watching it. <laughs> it's neat, I, I, you know, maybe a bigger plane this would be cool on but I put this on there and it still flew pretty well. It threw off the center a little bit, but it, it still flew okay. It flew a lot better when I took the camera off. And then in another video, we actually same put video. in... Same video. That was the same video, wasn't it? Uh, well, other video than this, we put in the Big 5 GPS meter, and uh, we got a peak speed on there. If you want to know how fast it goes, watch that video. That's really cool. But we got all this, all this stuff actually we got on Tower Yeah, it was so actually called. like 42 miles per hour. It was, it was pretty fast. I was wow. impressed. That is fast. A plane like this, I don't think should be a person's very first plane. I haven't flown it yet. <clears throat> it's a little quick won't for a while. <clears throat> and a little snappy. And you really should probably start flying on calm days, maybe with a flight instructor with like a wireless uh, buddy, box. buddy box. Tactics or can buddy box. That's right. A little Wirelessly. 
And we started Abby on that and we'll probably have to get her flying this guy wireless buddy box so I can throw my safety switch and catch it from her if she starts to panic or something. Uh, but this plane recovers well from, uh, you know, gusts of wind hitting it and it falls down a little bit. As long as you juice up, give it some throttle, you can pull out of just about anything. Um, so you can do barrel rolls, loops, inverted flight. I can get like a, a knife edge flight going. And Nathan's had some, a couple rough landings. And yeah, it's, I've it's smacked survived down. it for the most part. Pretty hard a couple times. It still flies and it flies well. Mm -hmm. And so if you want to get into 3D flying, this is a great way to go because it's not super expensive. The foam makes it very durable and it's something that's not going to give you a lot of headaches and fuss because you can quickly put it together and then once it's together it needs to pretty much stay together. Unless you're driving a bicycle to the airfield, <laughs> this will fit in your car and it's fit in there one piece which is extremely awesome. Uh, so this plane would be a good first 3D plane but not a first ever RC plane. ever plane. That's right. For that <laughs> maybe check out the Fly Zone Sensei FS. Right. Abby. All of our fly zone planes we picked up from towerhobbies.com. Yeah. So you can get this one or you can get a more beginner fly zone sensei FS, which I love to fly. Flew it last week for you guys. In Check out that storm. video. And a snowstorm is pretty epic. That is awesome. And uh, I'm going to continue flying this. I'll just be 100% honest with you guys. For me, this is now my go to quick pull it out, like kind of bashing plane. I'm going to continue to learn. Uh, more moves on this plane and continue to push my flying skills on this plane for quite some time. It's just fun to fly. It's always a blast when I get it in the air. I smile. I get a little adrenal <laughs> adrenaline rush. It's not just a slow glider. This is stepping up into the fun part of the RC hobby. Really pushing your skills. I've learned a lot on this style of plane. We've got other videos. A, a speed test, a first flight video, and an unboxing if you want to see what comes in this in detail so be sure to check out those videos as well as more RC planes to come to the channel right around the corner we do drones and ground vehicles as well so if this is your first time checking out our videos I'd love to see you subscribe and stick around and have some fun with us in the near future we give stuff away every single month and we just absolutely love this hobby. And guys, before the month's over, head on over to our Facebook page to see what we're doing for our giveaway. There's instructions pinned to the top of the page. Check that out. Yeah. Ends in, at the end of the month, in March. Right. Yay! Thanks a lot for watching. We can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye. See ya.